Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the ninth episode of the Bournemouth FC career mode. So in this episode today, we are going to be in the match against Swansea, and then we are going to be getting into the January transfer window. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to play in the match against Chelsea. So we're going to be playing with our full squad. This is the very, very best team we have to offer, and it's time to get into the game. So now, we get into the match versus Chelsea. This is a key match in the season, and with this game, we could establish a six-point lead in the table. So, this is one of the most important matches of the season. Can we come out clutch? Can we come out with a victory. We currently have the best goal difference in the whole entire league. I definitely want to keep that up and keep on playing well. <laughs> and now, it's time to get into the game. Okay, what the? Oh my god, what? Oh, that's such a lucky bounce. Oh, man. Ah, no. I didn't know where the ball was. It hit off match and I assumed I had it. And then... Uh, he just put it away. Vardy takes a shot. Oh, my God. That's just luck. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> just disappointing. Nesetti and Willian has way too much space in the middle. Okay. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jamie Vardy. Just got absolutely robbed by Alban Lafont. Come on, come on, can, can, can we win this? Oh my god. Alban Lafont, jeez. Oh my goodness, come on. Come on, after so much optimism in this half, it is going to be... That is the end of the first half, honestly. Um, I'm not really going to make any changes. Uh, I'm okay with our performance. It's, uh, mm, I don't think I need to make any changes. Uh, we've had chances, just we need to be able to convert them better. Come on, Iannaccio! What a save by Asmir Bekovic! Absolute robbery. I'll see you now. Milo. Oh my god, Asmir Bekovic is at his best! Crap, now Phil Jones. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, Alban. Alban. Come on. I've been to the middle. Want to win the header? Elsino beat Aspi. Oh, what a save by Begovic yet again. Come on, we gotta get this. Come on. Elsino, whip this in. Come on. Come on, Azar. Alright, so now we're gonna be moving in. We're gonna make uh, two substitutions. We're gonna bring off. Fraser for Lucinio, and we're going to bring on Wilson as a cam. In addition, uh, I'm going to be giving Lewis Cook a chance to make a difference. Uh, and yeah, that is it. Okay, and oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, there we go. Despite a valiant effort, we lose to Chelsea. We did play a little bit, and we didn't really play as good as them. So, you know what? That's a fair result. I can't really dispute that. We played close. We really could have won. That was an incredible game, and I think we were just a quality finish away from winning that. So, no problem in the slightest with that result. Like the win, but I can deal with it. Come on, Patrice. Can we get some growth from you? Come on, can you hit a 64? Yes, he can. There we go. Great, great growth there. And he's nearly up to a 65. He's about halfway there. So now, we simulate, and we are on transfer. We are on the day before transfer. January transfer window begins. So... Now I'm glad to see Andrew Sturman accepted the transfer offer, the uh, contract offer, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing our backup team against. Yeah, we're gonna be playing our backup team against Swansea. Chelsea. 
So now we are into the January transfer window and there are a couple players that I am going to be targeting. So a fun player that I'm going to be going for is a man by the name of Paul Georges Entep. He is currently available on contract expiry. He wants 50k, will offer 55,000 a week, 5 years and crucial first team player. We really want him to jump right into the squad. He'll likely replace Il Cino next season, so hopefully he will be willing to jump into the team. Next player I'm also considering is Mattia De Chilio. He's a nice young uh, left back, and I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Fosu Mensa. Plus, I think he might be a better uh, central midfield player. He's a little bit slow for left back. So I'll have to see about that there. So we're going to leave a uh, 43 million per week offer. And we're going to give him important team squad role there. Just hoping to best potentially save some offers from other bigger teams. So we are going to be looking at signing from Empoli. Going to be looking for a man by the name of Mateus Pereira. I have heard absolutely great things about him. And it would be amazing to have a talent like him jump right into the team. So let's see if they accept this offer. And I was hearing he has five star skills. He's a very fast player. So he may jump in ahead of Jordan Ibe. We'll have to see there. So now we're going to get in a match against Arsenal. Definitely looking forward to this match against them. It's a chance to improve prove that our last game that we played against them was a fluke and that we are deserving of a victory there. So uh, not much to say other than it's just plain time to get into this game. Okay that plus I need to I might want to add Fraser in there because sorry Sermon you're not my first choice. So now we are gonna be getting into the match against Arsenal. I'm definitely looking forward to this game. It's really a great chance to prove that our previous result was undeserved and that we can continue and get back on to a roll. So I want to thank you guys for support. It's only been like two hours and already got two likes and uh, can't thank you guys enough. Um, the sport's been pretty awesome in the last video. We hit 23 views on episode 7 and hoping to do even better since we're getting to the transfer window now. So now, we are playing against Chelsea. So, we are not playing against Chelsea. We're playing against Arsenal, but Chelsea are equal to us on goal difference. So, our job, win this game. Oh, what the... Uh, I should not have gone for the volley because Gradle was going to get in. That was a brilliant pass. Then er, he kind of slid. There we go. It's the end of the first half. Uh, I think I would settle for a draw in this game. Uh, I haven't played particularly well, but I don't think I'm totally out of either. So uh, one thing I am going to do, though, is... Mm, I don't think I really have much to do except for I'm going to take off El Cino and put Wilson as a cam. Admittedly, I do like him as a cam. Temporarily. Come on, Fraser. Oh my god, Nacho! Why did you take the touch? I literally said to take a... Uh... Oh my god. What a block there. On Gradle now. Ah, oh, completely snuffed out my attack. Oh, crap. That is a bad, bad tackle from Ake. Wow, I get away with it for no foul. 
Oh, jeez. I am lucky there. All right. Oh, for God's sakes. My distribution is so bad. And let's be honest here, I am going to be lucky if I actually get a draw from this game. Just not playing up to my standards. Oh, for piss sakes. Alright, there we go. That is the end of the game. It was, a uh, not for a lack of chance, that was actually a pretty boring game. Uh, yeah, but admittedly we kind of got outclassed by Arsenal. But hey, we stuck on. We stole a result there. Nil-nil, that's an important result to get against teams of those quality. I have to admit, I was talking earlier about maybe changing the difficulty. I have to admit, I think I was wrong there. So, I think I'm going to keep it the way it is because, yeah, uh, I'm struggling against the big teams, which you're supposed to. So, there we go. And Milo, one more training session. The guy's going to be a 70 overall. Can't wait to see more growth from him. So now, we're going to simulate through. Are we going to get any responses? And... Jars and Tep? Paul Jars and Tep. Welcome, man. Welcome to the team! Woohoohoo! And, uh... Okay, he wants a bigger role, right? Okay. I can give you four. I can give you a crucial first team player. He would definitely probably replace um, Fosu Mensa, so that's no problem. Five years. There you go. Hopefully he'll accept that role. Hopefully he'll be happy with that. Now Empoli, right? They want five million for him. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'll give you four million because he's such a great talent. Uh, credit to Chani, actually. Uh, I heard about that. So, what about this, though? Uh, this might ruin my depth a little bit, but I'll, I'd consider this. Because Nathan Ake is realistically going back on loan to Chelsea next year, there's no chance that he's going to actually, like... <laughs> there's no chance Chelsea would loan him out for a second year in a row, right? <laughs> they probably would, but we're, we're not going to we're not gonna assume that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that they'll accept something with Nathan Ake in it. Let's keep that offer to 5.2 million. And there we go. Uh, we got a transfer offer for Ian Acho. Uh, yeah, not not willing to sell him. And uh, Lafont played, played brilliant, to be honest with you. Like, uh, I can't ask for more than what he's really doing at the moment. So, nah, nah, I'm just going to reject all offers. Not interested in the slightest. Let's amend that transfer offer. 5.2 million. There we go. Hopefully he'll accept. I desperately want him into the squad as quickly as possible. So Detro Willems, at the moment, they want 23 million for him. Ugh. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can do that. I don't have the money for that, to be honest, at the moment. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys later. And next episode, I get to play with Mateus Pereira. Peace!